Hello YouTube and welcome to Fix the Sandal channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a water pump using PVC pipes and a 12 volt DC motor. Okay guys, here's what we need. One plexiglass piece like this, you can use a CD case if you want. A 12 volt DC motor like this one. A chuck set that will help me to connect my motor to the metal stick like this. And for the PVC pipes, we need one cap, T-shape connection, and a coupler like this one. For the impeller, I'm going to be using a mason jar lid like this. And we're also going to need one female connection for the motor. And at the end, we need a 9-inch PVC pipe, 3-inch, and inch PVC pipe so let's get started so now we're gonna start connecting the PVC pipes so we're gonna take the T and put it on the 9 inch like this and we take the 2 inch we connect it here and it goes over here like this and this one will be here and at the end the cap it's gonna be like this Okay, so now it's time to make a washer for our motor. It's gonna be over here. We don't want the water to go inside the motor. So as you see, this is the washer that we just made. I cleaned the edges and this one will fit exactly in here on the motor. And now we're going to make the impeller. And now we're going to connect our adapter connection. And now it's time to install our 20 gauge hardware wire. So simply we're going to put it like this and make a few turns. Like this. And it's going to be installed in the middle. And this will help the motor to be more stable once it starts spinning. Okay, once we've done installing our piece in the middle, now it's time to install our chuck set. So first we're gonna install it on the motor, make sure it's spinning very well. And then we're gonna put the impeller. And now we're gonna make sure that it's tight. Alright, and all that's left to do is to tighten the screws over here. Okay, so once we've made sure that everything is tight over here, now it's time to install the motor on the coupler over here. And now simply we're gonna install it like this. And now we're gonna install this piece over here. So we're gonna make sure to put it at the right place. There you go. So now we're gonna make sure that the motor spins freely over here. And now all what's left to do, I got the cap over here, I made a hole in it and the adapter connection is going to be connected like this. It's there you go. There it 
there you go, our project is complete. And all what's left to do is to test it. All right, so now it's time to test the pump. What I'm using over here is the 12 volt adapter. And now we're gonna plug the pump. And there you go guys, as you can see the pump is working perfectly and it's very stable and efficient. It's ideal for an emergency situation and it's very cheap to make. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe under Fix It Samo One Word and we will see you next time.